congratulations on such a really gripping, uh, thrilling movie. I was just instantly like shocked and blown away. Um, I want to start with uh, you, Matthew. What was it about this true story that made you want to bring it to the big screen? Well, uh, before I wanted to be a filmmaker, I wanted to be an FBI agent. So I wanted to be Ryan's character uh, in the movie. And that was my that was my aspiration. And, you know, I saw it, the story took place in 2004 when I was, you know, a teenager. And I used to go on the FBI's website, you know, with the hopes, I was about 14 years old, I got the hopes of, you know, helping the FBI catch a fugitive. And, you know, Jason Derrick Brown was a fugitive at the time from justice. And, you know, his face really stuck out. You had a sea of menacing faces from Osama bin Laden, Whitey Bulger, really sophisticated, high up criminals. And then you had the surfer dude from Southern California. So all of a sudden, something doesn't quite make sense with the bill. How did this guy get there? So years later, I was figuring out, you know, after graduating film school at the AFI, I was thinking, what would my first feature film be? I was kind of in an existential crisis and I didn't know what it would be. And then all of a sudden, Jason's face popped up on the news and I saw that he was still missing 15 years later. And I said to myself, that could be a good movie. <laughs> and really from there, I just became absolutely obsessed. Um, you know, and I found ultimately that it's a story about, you know, it has a lot of things that naturally entertain me. You know, it's a crime thriller. It's got a heist. It's got, you know, it's got a cat and mouse chase with Ryan's character chasing down Tom's character. But ultimately, you know, it was really a character study about the dark side of the American dream and this charismatic con man who meant a lot of things to a lot of different people. And so that's really what ultimately drew me in. There was just a lot of, you know, it was a complex, rich character and cast of characters. Because I also see this as, even though it's all about Jason Derrick Brown, I do see it as an ensemble film that Ryan's character uh, grounds us in. Amazing. And I hate putting you in the spot because he's in the room, but what is it about Matthew's script and, and directing that you wanted to take on this role? Right. Oh, I have no problem answering that question because that is the very first thing as an actor you respond to. There was a focused and layered simplicity to the script and to the way the story unfolds that felt real to me. Obviously, we're, we're, we're working with a true story as it is, but, you know, the tendency for a lot of filmmakers or writers would be to, you know, manufacture even more drama or, or, or have these melodramatic moments because they're movie moments. And Matthew resisted that. He instead did something that I would think was a very fair and even handed way to tell this story where you see it from all sides, you know, and then particularly, you know, from my end, uh, it was very my motivations and who this guy is, who Lance Lysing is, is so very clear to me. And I, I believe very clear in the movie. Um, he is a man of, of, of decent character. He is the polar opposite of Jason Derrick Brown. And he wants him brought to justice, not only for the murder he committed, but for the other lives that he's destroyed in his wake. Um, and uh, as Matthew alluded to, you know, a guy who's on the top 10 list, but looks like a surfer and then went on to kind of as he evaded the police, kind of give the middle finger to them, you know, flaunted a lifestyle that he was able to bankroll based on his crime. Um, and, and we think that's why he ended up on the list the way he did amongst those other criminals that have bigger names and all of that kind of thing. But um, I was really excited when, when Matthew told me how he wanted to tell the story. And I really have a great belief in him as a young filmmaker. So, it, and what a cast we got. Tom Pelfrey is excellent in this. Um, everybody is. And um, it just really came together in a nice way. Amazing, amazing answer. And sort of touches upon what I was going to ask this about working with Tom Pelfrey. Matthew, we'll start with you and what made him so right for this character? Well, I, I'll start by saying I was incredibly lucky to have this cast. I mean, this is my first feature. And so this has set the bar very high um, for everything I do going forward. And, you know, you have Tom, you have Brian, you have Jackie, you have Dean. You, you know, this is, this is, it sounds like a fairy tale dream, honestly. And it kind of is. Um, you know, Tom had all the right traits for Jason. And I, I, his first or not his work, my producer, Gia Walsh, called me in, in April 2020 when we were first casting the film. She said, Are you watching Ozark? I said, I'm not. And she said, well, you need to. <laughs> and three other people that same day who had read the script and were friends of mine, my brother, the composer of the film, all called me and said the same thing. Dude, you got to watch Ozark. This guy, Pelfrey, is, is amazing. I immediately watched him within five seconds. I knew. And what it is that he had was he had two things. Jason needs to be charismatic. Jason needs to be uh, someone you can fall in love with. He needs to be someone who is unpredictable. He needs to, to be scary and he needs to be physical because he's a very physical role. And Tom had all five of those in spades. Um, and, you know, he, you know, he's an incredible actor. I always compare actors I work with to old movie stars. I think Tom, to me, resembles uh, Toshiro Mifume, and uh, Ryan, to me, resembles Paul Newman. I think they both have this. You know, that's what I wanted. I wanted Mifune, and I wanted Paul Newman. I wanted, you know, that kind of dichotomy of, you know, uh, 
someone who could be Ryan is, you know, grounding the film, right? And allowing us to, you know, experiencing, we're experiencing our way into the movie through Ryan. And Tom is the crazy wild fire that, you know, Ryan's got to put out. So it was, no, this cast was, I mean, you have Jackie Weaver playing his mother. I mean, I was so lucky. All I really had to do as a director was uh, get the shots right and get out of these guys and gals ways. And I identify with Lance Lysing's frustration in having not caught Jason because I never really got to work with Tom. <laughs> I would have loved <laughs> that a scene or two with Tom and hopefully down the road that'll happen. But uh, yeah, I, I just missed him just like Lance. I tried to have them not meet uh, on set, but then the GR producer threw a Thanksgiving party and they met. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Well, thank you so much for talking to me today. You guys have been wonderful. Thank, thank you. you. Enjoy the rest Take of the, the day. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!